something to me that nobody else could do. We put a call out. Would you like me to come to your door? And the applications came flooding in. I don't tell you when I come knocking, but if you let me in when I call, I'll make over room in your home. It's time to surprise one of our applicants right now. It's 6am and we're on our way to Donna Bate, North County Dublin. Just two miles from here, our homeowner should still be asleep. They have absolutely no idea we're about to knock on their door. The one time you speed up is when we're going around a roundabout. <laughs> Are you calling me a slow driver? My challenge is to transform a room in their home with a budget of €1,000 or less, if I can. I've never set foot in the room. I only have their application photos to go on, so I really hope the design I have in mind will suit the room when I see it for real. It's actually really nice that uh, a man has applied. He said he'd rather get um, root canal done than spend an hour in a shop. Men are mad, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Are they? Thank mad. you, Jada. <laughs> ben and his wife Anna and their children, Adam, Colin and Ellen, moved to their three-bedroom house six years ago. After a long battle with cancer, sadly, two years ago, Anna passed away. Ben says in his application that he's very bad at DIY and that now, as a lone parent, he wants his dated and dark kitchen diner redesigned as a space his children can really enjoy. He needs my help. Why are people out jogging this hour in the morning? Know. It's 6.30 in the morning here in Donna Bate, and we're about to surprise Ben, Adam, Colin and Ellen. Now it's early enough in the morning that they shouldn't have left, so here we go. Calling to a home this early lets us see how people really live. Let's hope someone answers. Here we go. <laughs> Ben? Oh. It's Neville. Come on. Oh God. How are you? <laughs> I can are see you you're not joking? expecting me. <laughs> oh, you're joking. We got you in. I just oh, you want to cover yourself up? <laughs> <laughs> we thought we come early to make sure you were in. I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> we can see that. Can I go and wash this off? One second. Okay, I'll give you a second. All right. There you go. This isn't a fix. <laughs> oh, poor Ben. The kids must be all upstairs hiding still. That was quick. <laughs> are you, are you shocked? Yeah. Uh, I am, actually. Yeah. I say, God almighty, there's a crowd at my door. <laughs> You're all right. Take yeah. a breath. Take a yeah, breath. I'm shocked. Yeah. So while Ben gets himself together, my attention turns to the dark kitchen diner he wants transformed. Okay, wow, wow. It's, um, it's very warm looking. It's a bright space, but it, it feels quite dark. Yeah. I think because you've got you know, the darker wood on the floor there, which is fantastic, and it yeah. looks really expensive. The tiles look great, but then this kind of wood yeah. looks a little bit much with it. It's a bit out of place, I think. It is, isn't it? The green table is quite heavy looking and dated too. Well, that came from our last house okay. with, with us, and uh, well, I'm really slow at changing things. Yeah, but do you know what I have noticed is everything is very organised and you're house proud. Well, with the three children, it's a constant. So is this the centre of the house? We are never out of here. We all, that's the best thing I ever did, was not put the wall up here. Yeah. That was supposed to be a separate dining room. So what would you not like me to do? Not that I might listen to The you. floor. <laughs> yeah, okay. The granite. Yes. I suppose the cooker. Everything else is fair game? Yeah. Fine, yeah. Okay. Fine. I'm a bit nervous though. You yeah. <laughs> are. You can, I'll tell you, I am really. So this room is clearly the centre of the home and one that Ben wants completely renewed. My challenge is to do this for €1,000 or less. His challenge is to trust me, leave his home now and hand over the keys. I have to ask you, do you trust me? At this stage I have to say yes. <laughs> but I do, I do. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, oh, I hope I do. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's too late. Hand over your keys and then pack and leave. Ben has just a few moments to pack his bags, rally the troops. Jesus, there's an awful lot of pressure at this hour of the morning. <laughs> Ellen! And vacate his home. Come on, let's go. Come on. While we are throwing them out of their home, they will be treated to a stay in a hotel with some real style. 
they'll be staying in the Beacon Hotel in Sandyford, a slice of contemporary design in Dublin's South Quarter, and one I think could really stoke Ben's appreciation for interior design while we work in his home. Limited budget and limited time, so it's down to work. From seeing photos of the room, I've come up with some design ideas. For Ben and his family, I want to create a completely different look in the kitchen. I want to change the whole wood and warm colours on the wall to something that is a lot cooler, fresher and brighter. The one question I get asked is, how do I paint the kitchen doors? If you don't lay this out and do it correctly, it will be a complete disaster. Now, to define Ben and his family's dining area, I'm going to use panelling, tongue and groove panels brought together to create what we call wainscoting. All it is is tongue and groove with a dado placed on the top. And this is going to make a really special space for them. Andy, you're not supposed to break the things, love. You're supposed to fix the well, things. Well, here's one off so we can start painting. <laughs> If you've got ivory, cream or off-white kitchen units, the trick to getting the most out of them in the space is to paint the walls a deeper tone, not the same colour as them. What I'm going to use here is a grey. Now this particular grey, Aspen Silver, makes the wall cool, clean and fresh, but also it has a little bit of warmth in it as well. Now I'm going to create an accent colour in this room with a little bit of excitement. It's a soft lime green and this will just add extra depth to the whole space. Look at those tones, absolutely perfect together. Clear out complete. We start our makeover for this design with the all important prep work. This week we have the mammoth task of painting all the kitchen units. So while Trevor takes the doors off in preparation, maybe take a photo and find out what goes where. It's like a jigsaw. In the garden, Eve and Camille have their own jigsaw puzzle. They're putting up the tent where all the doors will need to dry. But we will also need luck with the weather for this to happen, in addition to a roof. <coughs> On a limited budget of a thousand euro, my shopping list for this design includes chrome curtain poles. For my white and grey concept to work, the poles are just the right colour. Wall cubes. Three, please. These will create the basis for a funky shelving cluster I'll use in my design. And with the addition of some mini cubes, I can't wait to see how these will work together in Ben's dining room. Jed has found some wall lights she likes and sent me the pictures. You know the way you said to me, get me the square light? Yes. There do be more than one square light, my love. OK, it looks like some type of Greek symbol or something with the glass insert. Four of those, yeah, is four, it? Yeah, four of those, yes, please. OK, thanks, Neville. While we work away in the kitchen dining room, Ben and his children are enjoying the luxuries of hotel life. Completely unaware of what I have in mind for his space, Ben is fully aware of the challenges that come with being a lone parent. With just myself and the children in the house, it is a juggling act that you do. It's busy, but I, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. I was planning to do up the kitchen. I'm really poor at getting things done at home. I sort of really said it to them, off you go, but God knows what we'd end up with, you know. Probably spectacular and a lot better than I'd managed to do myself. You could see the shock this morning. I actually didn't believe it that anyone would ever turn up to be picked. It's just brilliant. And the children are over the moon, Ellen especially. Ellen is the boss of the house. She'll be the first one who will decide how lovely it all is. We'll all just probably look at Ellen and go, what do you think? And as a family space, for it to be freshened up and changed, whatever is there, I would never have come up with it. I know that for a fact. When I walk into the room, I'd hate if it was all white and black. I'd hate sort of monochrome. I wouldn't like white walls, white doors, white presses, and just bits of black. So, you don't like white? I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that, Ben. Hi, Jedda. With the doors off, Trevor slips into mentor mode for his one-on-one -on -one masterclass in cabinet door preparation. Twist that way, then the lift out. Yeah. And once we wash the whole door down and across here, all these grooves, you can see the grease and the dirt yeah. that's in them. Have fun. Thanks. Class dismissed. 
The team start prepping the doors for the undercoat with sugar soap and elbow grease. While inside, Trevor and I discuss my plans for the wainscoting panel feature. So it's going to start in that corner, go the whole way around here, and we'll link the colour in from the colour we're putting on the doors in the kitchen to the wainscoting underneath. So, do we have enough? Yeah, look nice. Uh... Trevor, do we have enough? I will have to do a measure on it. Trevor, do we have enough? Very, very tight. Trevor. With time against us, Trevor sets about cutting the panels to size. The really good thing about wainscoting is it's a great way to achieve a classic country kitchen effect for a low budget. But despite seeing this going on the wall, I'm finding it difficult to relax. The minute I walked through that door this morning, my heart sank because I just realised it's about 30% more than I thought to do. The kitchen is bigger in reality. Can we call in more troops? Curry is this it? No, there are no more troops and curry is on you tonight. I'm not well, I'm going to bed. With the dado rail nailed into place, the wainscoting is really coming together. So with Andy starting to roll out the aspen silver paint on the orange wall, Trevor has now moved outside to apply the door primer. One coat should do it, before we're ready for the milk white coat. But with so much woodwork to paint, I'm still concerned. Okay Trevor, keep at it, good luck. While I wasn't going to reveal my complete design, I did send Ben and his family at the hotel a sneak peek at one element of the room. A picture of the green paint I'm going to use. That's all. That's it. It's from Neville. That's the colour. Yeah. I would green never green. have used that colour. Mm. I don't even know, is that the walls or... I'm starting to doubt whether I trust them or not now. Yeah. What do you think of it? I like it. You like it? You don't like to see it? That's different. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Coming up, some flat pack frustrations. Oh, for heaven's sake. Trevor has some bad news for me. I get more and more nervous by the minute. And Ben and the kids return to see their transformed space. This morning at the crack of dawn, we surprised Ben in Donna Bait, North Dublin. We thought we'd come early to make sure you were in. I'm in. I have 1,000 euro to bring new life to a room in his home. And he wants me to do something with his kitchen dining room. Wow. It's a bright space, but it, it feels quite dark. Well, I'm really slow at changing things. Ben wants a fresh and contemporary space for his family to enjoy. While we work, they're relaxing in the Beacon Hotel. But once they check out, we must be finished and out of their home before they come back. You do something to me that nobody else could do. With the cabinets, wainscoting and kitchen doors now all going under the brush, this paint job is beginning to rival the Sistine Chapel. But I doubt Michelangelo will be pleased with the way the first layer of paint has reacted with the kitchen doors. It has to have a certain feel to it. It, it has to have, have a particular look, but I just don't want it to look too brushy. With the problem persisting, I call an old painter pal for advice. Gancho, it's Neville. How are you? What's happening is the paint is too thick as such, it's drying too quickly because of the weather. My painter reckons, add a little bit of water, just a little bit, try it out, see do we get a perfectly smooth finish. Let's go for this, it's better. It is better. It is better. It is better, it's not, yeah. it's not getting gloopy. Now once we know it's the water now, it, it'll be easy to mix it to the right consistency. To get the perfectly smooth finish I want, each dry door is sanded before every new coat goes on. It's a relentless workload. We've even called in the producer's Dutch sister-in-law, Tia, to lend a hand. Are you going to be here till midnight tonight? Well, like, I'm not planning to. <laughs> I like this to be finished before. What do you mean you're not planning to be? <laughs> While work continues, I turn my attention to the wooden cubes that Jeddah bought for my wall feature. Do you want them in the lime? Well, now, I'm going to do a little... Nothing is ever simple that I do, is it? I'm going to do the grey of the wall around on the frame. Yeah. And then the front piece here and inside, I'm going to do in the lime. Great, more painting, fantastic. We don't have enough painting today. More painting, more painting. <laughs> right, let's see what's happening inside. While Eve has ulterior motives for scrubbing the radiator. <laughs> You're so determined. <laughs> You're so determined to get that radiator looking like it's brand new so you don't have to paint it, it's great. My concerns are mounting. The family are gonna be back tomorrow and we have got just a mountain to climb with regards to the amount of painting and touch-ups that have to be done. We need to have the backs done in the next hour. 
Yeah. And leave them for two hours, yeah. turn them, do the fronts, leave them for two hours, hang them, do the fronts again. So that'll work. I get more and more nervous by the minute. I think everybody's starting to get a bit tired and emotional and Trevor's just announced that we're going to be here until two o'clock in the morning which has just sent a bit of a damp squib amongst the crew. I'm worried that we won't get it finished in time, but uh, we're going to try our best. That's not very optimistic, Trevor, but some good news at last. My Grecian cube lights are up and just in time for sunset. Now they look great. Make sure that they're illuminated in the shot because what you're looking for is some shadow. Once there's a line going up or coming down, it just adds a little bit of extra interest. And uh, it's kind of an architectural feature to it. It looks great. With the cabinet doors going back in and getting yet another coat of milk white, the entire team beds down for the night. With more finishing on the doors needed tomorrow and a dining area with no furniture yet, we have a huge amount to do to give Ben and the kids a family room that doesn't disappoint in the cold light of day. This is my final day at the house. Ben and his family will be checking out of the hotel in a few hours and coming home. And when they do, we need to be finished and out of their lives. Oh, I'm so relieved. It is coming together because after yesterday's paint marathon, in fairness to everybody, well done. I mean, unbelievable. There's a reason people don't do kitchens like this in 48 hours. There is, and we are now living proof. Yeah. Broken. With the curtains up, trimmed and hemmed, Ben's old handles are going back on the repainted doors. I think they look very smart. But there's still a lot to do. At last, the delivery I've been waiting for. What's it, Neville? I love them. I love them. Do you know what I love about these is they're sturdy looking. I also like the chairs because they come assembled, unlike the table, which Jeddah and I tackle. What do you reckon? <laughs> There's three legs. <laughs> Position table leg B with E. Insert the hex bolt C. Tighten with wrench E. Oh, for heaven's sake. Why don't we try this one? Jeddah, I have to say, the fact that you had this in your glove compartment is vaguely worrying. <laughs> Oh, the quality remains when the price is long forgotten. With the dining set complete, there's just one more feature that needs assembling. So the trick is, make sure that the distance between them are equal. So that's 60 millimetres. With that in mind, we can group anything in whatever way we want. And what goes up on the wall, those 60s will unify everything. With my design layout chosen, another tip is to take a photo as reference. The final design. Trevor cuts a recess in the cubes to fit the brackets so it can sit flush to the wall for a better finish. With the layout transferred to the wall, each cube is fitted one by one as this feature starts to unfold. I think it looks like a piece of art. This is the main focal point in the room now and the best part about it is it only cost 50 euros. So we clear the room, I need to get the styling started. With all the major design elements now in place, it's finishing touches time. And while I dress Ben's new table for the first time, it looks like it's also Jeddah and Andy's first time taking down a tent. Jeddah, it's collapsing on your side. <laughs> the cube design feature is now home to some special family mementos. Ben and his children have checked out and are on their way, so we need to get out of here fast. I am under pressure, but you can't skimp on the fine detail. We've done it and need to be gone when Ben and his family arrive. So one last chance to have a look at the room I've designed for this family. In less than two days and just shy of my 1,000 euro budget, we've transformed this dark kitchen dining room into this contemporary living space. I hope they like it. The kitchen is really the heart of every family. And for this family in particular, I wanted to give them something completely different. This kitchen originally was very dated with its terracotta walls and pine presses. 
So what I did was use a soft white on the doors, silhouetted against this warm grey on the back wall. The grey is an interesting colour because as it progresses through the day, it changes from something that's bright and steely into something that's soft and lilac. The dining space is completely changed and is denoted by the wainscoting on the wall. And this acts as an anchor for the table in the centre, sitting on the original slate tiles. The space in here is for a family, but it has a sense of relaxation and casualness about it with plenty of elements in it, like the unit behind us, perfect for all those important little mementos and memories. I really hope they love this, and it is the new heart to their home. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Oh yeah. Well done. You know what, I was not worried about the design of this one. I was only terrified about the amount of work to achieve the design, okay? And you were right. Yes. Ben, Adam, Colin and Ellen are returning to see their transformed kitchen dining room. But with absolutely no idea of what I was going to do, Ben placed his keys and trust in me. The question is, was he right to trust me? And what will he really think of his new room? It's the moment of truth. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. I love it. It's beautiful. The presses are just perfect. Come over oh, here. Oh, I this. love it. Oh, I've never picture. even seen that picture before. Oh, yeah, and all the little guys off the window ledge. Oh, yeah. It's really, really fabulous. Look! <laughs> it's tidy at last. We've been trying to tidy that for about two years. <laughs> wow. It's really lovely, isn't it? What's your favourite piece? Probably the pictures. The pictures? I love that. Really? And the tables and the set. I just love it. <laughs> it's great. We ended up with alcoholic doors. <laughs> they did. They just couldn't drink enough paint. I think they are going to love it. Oh, what? Isn't it fabulous? Oh, oh my god. god. It's actually gorgeous. Isn't it? It's lovely. Wow. Look at the pictures over there. Yeah, I know. Oh, look. Neville's doorstep challenge. A family kitchen for a great family. Love, Neville. Aww. It's really lovely. I can't get over it. Put up there. <laughs> Good man, Neville. <laughs> And I was just sitting there thinking, I have lost the will to live. I can't paint anything else. I can't do anything else. <laughs> I have to do the handbrake out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd love to get another chance to open the door. <laughs> I'm glad I opened it, but not the way I opened it. Oh, God. I'm never going to hear the end of that now. My sons had a great idea saying, That'd be a great way to empty a house. Just tell them you're from the TV and get them to leave. <laughs> and then he had me worried about it, saying, God, is that really them? The hedgehogs, they were Anna's. Great to see them there, you know. Uh, Ellen was chuffed that they're there particularly, yeah. Great experience, great weekend. Um, great to come back to it, and it's just really, really lovely. Happily, my new look kitchen diner has got the thumbs up from Ben and the kids. But what do you think of this transformation? To make a comment or find out how I spent my €1,000 budget in this space, check us out on our Facebook page, Neville's Doorstep Challenge Now. Do something to me that nobody else could do.